Hey, it's Jabbo, and this is what happens uh, when I'm too busy uh, to film the videos of unboxing packages as I get them. It's not necessary to show you all this, but I am piecing together some things. So I'm going to talk about that and another little obsession or... I, I, I tend to, when I discover things new or I collect something, I tend to go overboard. So I may have gone overboard, which that word is actually appropriate for this, some of this. So let's get to it and see what I'm working on here in the basement. And I gotta get these, get rid of these packages because it's taking up too much space. Now hopefully I'll remember why I bought most of this. Uh, things that I am working on, uh, this, these are the parts for the additional coach for Emerald Knight. That right there is Ant-Man, and I'm working on Ferguson Tractor. Ferguson Tractor's got about five or six parts that are exclusive to that set that I'll have to substitute because they never were available in anything but that set, but, um, and nobody's selling them. So that's, that's some of the things I'm working on, but there's probably a few others, you know, the usual tipper truck type stuff. Uh, so I think most of these stores I went to to get parts for the Emerald Knight... And then there's a couple of eBay packages here it's for another obsession I have. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, so Emerald Knight parts. That's the, the glass for the windows. This is from Andy's Brick Shop. We got some of those reddish-brown one-by-ones with the handle. Those are not super expensive, but they're not, they're not r rare, but they're also not... Super cheap. Well, actually, those were cheap. I wonder where I was thinking of something else. Those were only a nickel. That's not too bad. All right, now here's the one I would have not bought had I known what I know now. But these are the dark brown 1x12s, which I paid, oh my goodness, I paid $2.50 each for those. <laughs> wow. And then the 4x6s. And a tan window. And there should be one more part. Yeah, these. So those were all parts uh, for the Emerald Knight. So I'm going to set those right there. That was from Andy's Brick Shop. The next one is from Coates Gallery. Another BrickLink store. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. So this is... So it turned out there was another... Um, there's two different varieties of this. I don't know if this is the expensive one. I think it is the expensive one. So now I got three of these bases. Uh, these are the roof pieces for the Emerald Knight coaches. Uh, the glass for the the small window. I bought extras, and then more of. So we got those windows, those handles uh, for the Emerald Knight. So again, that was all it was. Emerald Knight. The, everything in there was for the Emerald Knight. So the next one is from DeGoozles Bricks. DeGoozles. Interesting name. This looks like a little baseball card box or something. Let me open this up. DeGoozles. Oh. Alright, so there are some non-Emerald Knight parts in here. Alright, first of all, oh, i got to take out the stuff that's not for the Emerald Knight. So he had... Some of these. Again, I, if I'd known I could get those in the Chima set, I probably wouldn't have bought all these. I started with the sellers that had the cheapest ones. And that's for the Emerald Knight. And these rest of these parts, just the purple hands to make your purple Spaceman army and a magnet. <laughs> and then he had some decent prices on these apple trees. I forget what the technical name is. I'll put that in the tree collection. So, hey, some stuff that's not for the Emerald Knight. All right, the next one is from uh, McKinney Bricks. McKinney Bricks. Uh, I'm supporting our local BrickLink stores. Well, they're not local to me. I mean, you support your BrickLink seller. That's what I'm doing. He packed this in a box. Probably didn't have to. Get... All right, so what we got here? Hmm. I think this piece here is for it. These are old gray, but that's probably for one of my old things I'm piecing together. Those may be old gray as well right there. And then I got a 6x16. I think, 
just looking at this is all this is. Man, why did he pack this in a box? The only thing I, I mean, it's fine because my plate arrived safely, but I think I went for these two black pieces and added everything else. So I have to sort that one out to figure out what things go to the um, Emerald Knight and what things do not. The next one is from Brown's Bricks. I'm really supporting you Bricklink sellers out there. All right, let's see what we got from Brown's Bricks. Make sure I got everything out of here. Brown's Bricks. Ah, boat weights. Uh, that goes to another obsession I'll be working on. Uh, waffle Bottom. That's for some of the old sets I'm piecing together. Uh, oh yeah, more of those. That's for the Emerald Knight, the blue. So that's definitely for the Emerald Knight. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll take these Emerald Knight parts out that I know for sure are for the Emerald Knight. Like these black round. I think these tan pieces are for the Emerald Knight as well. The hinges might be. I'll have to look if I do it after I get done with this. But um, yeah, I wanted to have those extra coaches. And I think with mo if, once all my orders get here, I should have enough to build the coaches. Oh yeah, those go to it. And those are windows. I, I think I bought a lot of extra windows. Now that is tipper truck parts. So that was everything from Brown's Super Brick store. Now the stuff is piling up over here. We're, and we still got more. This is from Bricks on the Dollar. One of the largest BrickLink stores in the United States, if not the world. Has a rather large selection. All right, let's see. Oh, look, I bought his rails, blue rails. Ah, the super expensive windows. I got four from him. Those go to it. That's a Legoville, that doesn't go to it. I bought this service pack of arches, sealed, for my service pack collection. Windows for the Emerald Knight, that's for the Emerald Knight, that's for the Emerald Knight, that's for the Emerald Knight, Emerald Knight, Emerald Knight, Emerald Knight, Emerald Knight. I can even say all this stuff. I, I probably should, it would probably help if you could actually, that's for vintage sets, Emerald Knight. So I got all these Emerald Knight parts. Ooh. You know, I wish I had a checklist. I don't have a checklist. Oh man, I'm probably just gonna have to start building and see what I'm missing. All right, let's do another BrickLink order. All those were from the US. We got one from uh, Netherland. Let's see what's from Netherland. Oh, come on, open up. Ooh, all right, oh, this is a good one. All right, we got some tipper truck parts there, plus some vintage parts. I think I went to the store for this part. That's for the set 248 I'm piecing together. But look at that, I can build four more tippers. Got four buckets there. So I'll put these over here with the vintage parts. More wheels. Let's see what goodies we got here. We have a very beat up instruction manual for set 3671, that Fabuland Airport, which I would love to get to build. We have this shell station, 648. You know, I think I already have these instructions. I know I didn't have these, 689. I'm gonna do a comparison of 689 and 490. So some vintage instructions there from um, Amstel Brick Corner. Oh, wait, it says, <laughs> it says, hi, Brickzar. Cool to have you in my store. Big fan of yours. Keep up the good works. Greetings from Amsterdam. Oh, that's really nice. Amstel, so um, thank you. Thank you for contributing to the Tipper Truck Army and some of my uh, vintage things. Again, I'll tell you, since you if, you, if you happen to watch this, the piece I went for was that, and then everything else was added after the fact. All right, so I think that takes care of the BrickLink stuff. Now we'll get to uh, what I think is eBay. In case I'm wrong. Oh well. Oh hey, you open this. Got to open this box here. The good thing is it's hard to open. The bad thing is it's hard to open. So a couple of eBay items. Nothing too 
too suspenseful, maybe. We'll see. Oh yeah. What do we got here? All right, so, so you can see what it is. Take it out of this plastic. Ugh. All right, so we got this boat set. It's a Jack Stone set 4669, which came with the motor. So I got the motor, and now I'm buying sets with the motor. And hopefully this summer we'll do some kind of brick boat thing. So 4669, a boat. I'm not a nautical person, but I do like riparian entertainments. All right, so the next one is also from eBay. Pretty 100% sure it is. And this is one that I never knew it came with a boat motor. So here's the motor. All right, so I got this piece for this set years ago in a bulk lot, but I never know it, knew it had a motor. So now I got uh, this, it's like a catamaran set, set 7244. So that's, um, yeah, I'm, st I'm starting to collect uh, motorized boats so wow that was quite a lot of stuff it's going to take me a little while to put everything away so all this is going in I'm going to try to squeeze in that bag so I can build another coach and then I got to kind of look at the parts list and outstanding orders to see what I got left but yeah hopefully we'll be doing some motorboat stuff more tipper truck building fabuland building lots of stuff to do hope you enjoyed this You have to figure out a place to put these. So in the past, I've been really bad about getting these um, hauls, showing it to you, and then it just stays there. <laughs> and I got I got containers uh, filled with stuff from previous hauls. Some you know I used some of it, and then some of it just got put away. Um, so I'm going to really work on putting this stuff up now so that it just doesn't sit um, aimlessly sitting there. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got to get some, I got to get this organized. I, I've been saying that for years. Anyway, I'm going to go. So I, instead of talking to you anymore, I want to go put this away. I'm really going to do it. I'm really going to do it. See you guys.